Hello everybody, Life on in here, and today we are doing an achievement guide, basically. It's just the Like a Glove achievement, and I'm going to be doing it on solo, and I'm going to go through and basically walk you through step by step as I go, and hopefully make this achievement a little bit easier for y'all if you have not already gotten it. Basically, the very, very first thing that I do, of course, is clear every single place where there is a rhino slash, uh, what is it, a mammoth? Yeah, a mammoth. Spawn. And don't even worry about these guys. And so you find the arc in this first area. And it can be in any of these locations. So... And since I'm on solo, it's nice enough to only spawn one. Nice. And I got a customized bulldog out of the chest. And I am going to go ahead and take it, just because I kind of want to get this one out of the way. Now that leaves my next place going up here. Actually, technically over here. That's where the arc is. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. I'm going to bring this guy over here. A little more over here. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <sighs> These guys really don't like to cooperate. Run at me. Just run at me, gosh dang it. Thank you. But yeah, basically that that's the first step. You know, just go ahead and figure out where the arc is. It's in either back there, uh, up on that ledge, or in this third place. I will show you right quickly. Which I'm sure if you've had this map very long, you know these three locations. Or down this pathway. But anyways, I will be back. And a little bit to when I plant the first uh, scanner slash drill, whatever you want to call it in this. So basically we are now just planting the drill. Of course it's a shot accuracy challenge, which I'm not too concerned with because it is a shotgun. But uh, five kills. One, two. Since I got a collateral there. Three. Basically my systematic methodology of doing this. That's four. Five, and because I like to be safe. Six. And I usually like to go to ten. Um, I don't trust their killing system. But yeah, my general method is I usually try to do one weapon at least every single time we do a scanner. And then considering I'm right beside, and the TAC-12 is something you want to get out of this area first. Um, like right now, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. I've gotten, you know, pretty close to 8 to 10 kills with that Bulldog. So, TAC-12, the reason you want to do it in this very first area is that this is literally the only spot in this entire map you can buy it. Like, there's literally no other place that you can buy this weapon. So if you don't do it now... Then it could give you issues. Or you just have to run way back from the very first and end up trying to do it. So yeah, I would definitely do this shotgun here. Now really this is only two kills that I've gotten. Agra may have been three and I just wasn't counting. But four. By the way, this thing's a nightmare to reload. Wow. Wow. Five. Six. Seven. Like I said, I usually go, you know, seven to ten kills. So, because I really don't trust their counting system. I mean, if their achievement guide doesn't even say you have to do every bit of this in one game, then how am I supposed to trust it's actually five? Which it probably is, but you know. Anyway, so that is first two weapons down. Alright, we are on our second drill now. Like I said, I got about seven or eight kills with this thing on that last hive. So uh, the thing I want to go ahead and get out of this way, out of this way, out of the way right here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get another kill. 
There you go. Here's another one just to make sure. Another two. Yeah, you know, I want to get this melee out of the way. The reason I want to get it out of the way is because I'm running Medic. I think it is the easiest one to run solo because of the health regeneration that you get. And I'm running armor and not boosters. And what well, do you know? I didn't have a rapid fire for it. And there you go. But yeah, I just wanted to get this one out of the way. Uh, after this, I will probably do the IA-2 because it is also the only other weapon that is in this area that is not in anywhere else on this map. These do not count as kills. Do, do not get these count or mixed up as actual kills. Those little flower things. It would be nice if they did, but no. They don't. Yeah, since it's on speed reload, this thing is kind of a pain. It does reload quicker than the uh, the LSAT, which I am thankful for. Because if it didn't, I would seriously go insane. Stop spraying junk on me. Dang it. But yeah, I've always put my first two points in about it to get that health regeneration. And, uh... That's basically the easiest thing to do. Now, obviously, if it's staying in the circle until, you know, nine, ten aliens, then I've most likely done it already. <laughs> so, because I really have honestly have not been counting. But it's okay to just kind of fill one entire, uh, oh, what should I call it? One entire, uh, obelisk out with this one weapon. It really is not going to matter. And I'm going to say this is easier to do in solo. Because you don't have to worry about your teammates stealing your kills. But it can be done in co-op. That's actually when I've done it originally was in co-op. So it's really just a matter of personal preference. And since this melee is now out of ammo. Go ahead and take the IA-2. Which I honestly, I hate this weapon. Because I am terrible with marksman rifles. So I've got one kill, two kills. Three kills, ow. And that is the reason I keep right shields on this map with me at all times. Four kills. Five kills. Honestly, like I said again, I just want to get a couple more kills to be safe. I would hate to get only one less than what they require, which I say is five, but yeah. There you have it. So I'm gonna start this next draw. Uh three aliens are in the area. That should be a fairly easy challenge. Uh six seven eight nine uh dive bomber. Oh wow, I wasn't even checking my ammo. Well, I'm probably gonna fail this challenge now. Awesome. That kinda makes me angry. Oh, whatever. It's okay. I'll live. There's only one skill point. Oh, wait, there's that egg. I could shoot worth poo. Anyways, I got plenty of kills with that gun now. I'm going to jump down here. Get to VKS. I'm a terrible sniper, so do not judge my sniping ability, please. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Fire. An annoying gargoyle. Eight. Nine. Lord, I hate these things so much. Die bombing. Yeah, send him at the end of the round. That's awesome. 
Anyways, I got plenty with that one, so I'm going to go hop down. Get the MK. There's two of that already. Three. And it's in a glitched out spot I can't hit. They have so many glitches this map, I swear. It's one of the most annoying things. There's four. So basically, I'll just get a few kills with this thing. It's the start of the next drill. And then switch over. I don't think I'm missing anything other than the Ripper and the K7. Oh, Remington and Maverick. Derp. Yeah. Don't judge me. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. This is basically the exact same challenge as we had last time. It's a little bit different, but same criteria. I could have used it, done it with all the bombers they'd sent. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's five. But like I said, just because I want to be sure. Alright, that's definitely enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and hop over here. Get myself another starter rat shield. Remington. Bomber. Bombers. That uh, challenge done. Uh, that's three kills. Four or five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh man, I hate these things so much. You guys do not even know. Anyways, guys, I will be back as soon as I get you another weapon. Alright, we are at this last hive now. At least the last in this first area. I went and got the Maverick. Because I am pretty dang certain I got enough kills with that uh, Remington. And I, I was saying uh, earlier in the live stream that I feel like the Maverick is actually better than the R5. But it's actually cheaper to buy. Yeah, no, I didn't even try to find the leper, guys. He's usually oh, right here. There you go. Clutch ultra kill right there. Anyways. Really, the only ones I have left in this area are the K7 and the Ripper that I haven't done. And, oh, and the chainsaw. I guess the chainsaw, yeah. I uh, almost forgot about it. But, uh, I guess I could actually go get one of those right now. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I got the five kills with it. One thing with the Ripper is I like to do this in uh, AR mode. Because it saves you a lot of ammo. Now one thing I am not 100% sure about. And when I did this in my uh, actual run through of getting this achievement. Uh, I did the exact same thing as I'm going to do here is I'm going to get what I think is uh, 7 to 10 kills in this AR mode. And then I'm going to switch it into SMG mode. Because it shouldn't count as two separate weapons. I know in web... Oh, Lord, I'm about to die. But I guess I like to be safe. So... I hate those flowers. Oh shoot. Not good. Not good. I can tell you I've pretty much completely forgot to spend any skill points I've gotten. I do that every time in this. Do more ammo. Put this in SMG mode. Don't die while doing it. I don't have a right shield on my back. No duh. 
One, two, three. Four. Wow. I let the one last guy down me. That's embarrassing. Anyways, I'm going to get this Vanguard part out of the way and I will be back. Alright guys, I am back and got through the uh, the stupid Vanguard. I had to despise the Vanguard, oh my god. Um, but uh, I bought the K7 in between Vanguard deaths. I, however, did not kill anything with it. I did reframe from killing as I wanted to do it on camera, so kill one. And by the way, I was informed by somebody in chat that uh, the river doesn't count as two separate weapons, which I didn't figure it did, but like I said, I wanted to be safe, so. Alright, there's about, what, three kills? Dang. And I, <laughs> I forget to do this every game, but I honestly have not spent any more skill points since the very first half. Uh, I think that's only four. So, what I'm going to do is, I mean, I, I, okay, I'm going to go through the weapons just to make sure I've done every single one. I did the MK14 right here. I did the Bulldog because I got it out of the locker. Or you could buy it in there, which I'll show you in a second. I've done the i 2 I've done the Ameli. I have done the Maverick, and I have done the R5. I have done the Ripper and pretty much both modes just because I'm paranoid and I am doing the K7 and that will only leave oh I've done the VKS I did do the VKS and that will only leave the USR which is personally one of my favorite weapons on this map and the chainsaw which is one of the weapons I hate most on any map just because I, I, I you just rubs me the wrong way. There's no point in going to the very last point of that. No point to the last point. Yeah. Genius. Because I'm basically going to get to where I can carry two weapons. Uh, there's no really a reason not to. And plus I can have two arcs because I'm in solo. So. I'm going to go find that other arc. And I'll be back. Alright everybody. I am back. I have found the other arc. And stuck on a USR, my favorite gun in this game. Well, yeah, pretty much this game. And this is literally my favorite two weapons out of this entire Extinction series so far. Is the USR and the K7. Five aliens at full health. Oh, okay. Wait, I think I was at three kills with this thing, so. Four. Five. And like I said, I like to be safe and go at least 10 with each one. Ow. Hate bombers. Not as much as I hate seekers. But I hate bombers. Okay, so that should be enough to get that. This is one reason I love the USR. It's basically a one shot kill to everything. And if you're using incendiary ammo, it is a one shot kill to hunters because they it will end up burning to death. Hypno knife. Alright. And it's my favorite weapon to use against these guys. I honestly don't know what number I'm on. But I'm gonna say it's five ish. But I'm gonna keep using it just because I like it for one. And well, really, that's the only reason. I just like it. Hey, nope, not going down. Not gonna do it. Slight panic mode. Sorry. I hate these things. It's like the drill's about to die, but I'm worried about the stupid flowers. Oh, 
Wow. I'm on point today. Actually, I'm never on point, apparently. Oh, hi. Hello. Nope. No. No, bad. Bad. Bad phantom. Nope, 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 nope. Stop it. Really? Anyways, now that those are out of the way, the last one I have to do. Oh yeah, here's the bulldog. For the uh, people that missed that in the very first area, I got the bulldog out of the locker. So, I got those kills with it first. I swear. Basically the last gun I have now is a chainsaw. So, I just have to stay up, yeah, save, stay up, save up, and uh, get it now. And I will be back once I have the money and I have that chainsaw. All right, guys, I have gotten my chainsaw, and we are. Uh, well, I'm going to get my kills with it, and that should really be everything I need to, uh, or anything anyone needs to technically have this achievement done. Get off my butt. Oh, LMGs, I didn't get this out of the way in the first. I hate LMGs with the passion. Anybody that's watched my videos in the past has known that. Like I said, I've most likely gotten the five kills with it. And really, like I said, I've got them with the USR. I've got every other weapon that there is completely done. So really, that should be everything you need. If I had not previously gotten this achievement, I would have just gotten it. And yeah, I know I'm not even going for the challenge right now because I'm talking. But uh, yeah, there you go. Anyways guys, I hope this guide has been somewhat useful to you. If it has not, and I do apologize. If you're still having issues getting this, I'll uh, put it in the comments section of the video below. And this is Life on End, and I am signing off.